Luxury is a mindset, and if you are a luxury brand with a product or service where you want to attract more of the right clientele, you need to understand the luxury mindsets. My name's Neen James, and I conducted a research study on this whole idea of luxury as a mindset. I partnered with Audience Audit, and what was interesting was we discovered there's not one luxury mindset, there's four. If you want to know how to talk to leaders that were in our brand study, you might be interested to know about the four. Now, we did an initial research study on women. Why? Well, because in the US, women control $10 trillion worth of the US household. Now, that will be $30 trillion by the end of the decade. So you can see why we focused on them first. But as a brand, if you want to know how to really speak the luxury language of women, then have a think about understanding the luxury mindsets. There's four luxury mindsets or archetypes. Let me tell you quickly more about them. The first one is the reluctant and the removed. This woman feels like luxury is hard. She is overwhelmed, she is stressed, and luxury is not a priority for her. She will spend money on luxury, it's just she feels guilty when she does, and she doesn't want to tell anyone about it because she doesn't want others to think badly of her. Interestingly, she believes that luxury brands don't understand her. If you want to think about this particular woman, you want to consider your language in how your product or service will save her time and make it easy for her to make a decision to invest with you. The second luxury mindset or archetype is the pro-prioritizer. This is the woman who thinks that luxury is power. She's very focused on her profession, why she's called the pro-prioritizer. She dresses for success, she's a team player, and she believes in developing other people in the team. What you want to think about with this luxury mindset is she's very much focused on her career, on being able to advance. And what is important to her is that the brands she's aligned with are reliable, transparent, and authentic. She wants long-lasting relationships and quality from the brands that she works with. So if you want to speak the luxury language of the pro-prioritizer, consider sharing how your brand is sustainable. Let her know about your economic, societal, and environmental footprint and what you're doing. You want to use words like long-lasting, authentic, reliable, That's her luxury language. The third luxury mindset or archetype is the confident and content. She is the woman who says, I've got this. She's successful in her personal and her professional life. She doesn't need luxury while she does enjoy it, but she is the person who's looking to create memories with people who are around her. She believes we can all be more confident professionally if we invest our time, and our attention. If you want to speak the luxury language of the confident and the content, you want to think about as a brand how what you're doing is going to help expand, extend, or create those memories for her. And then we have the fourth of the luxury mindsets, one of my favorites. This is the luxury lover. That's right. She says, I'm worth it. Not only does she believe she's worth it, as a luxury lover, she wants others to enjoy the luxury experience as well. She is the woman who wants to be able to share luxury with others, use it every day, and not only that, she will tell others about you. If you want to speak the luxury language of the luxury lover, you want to use words like unique, exclusive, one of a kind, behind the scenes. This is the woman who wants to know that she has VIP access to your product or service. So think about all four of these luxury mindsets. The reluctant and the removed want to think about how do you save her time and energy? The pro-prioritizer, how do you help her advance in her career and elevate her image? The confident and the content, How do you create more memories in her personal and her professional life? And then the luxury lover, how do you also reinforce that not only is she worth it, but what you're offering her is behind the scenes, exclusive quality. You know what's interesting about all four types? Every one of them said this, luxury is about experiences, not things. So as a brand, if you want to speak the luxury language of women, think about what you're going to do to create that experience for them. How are you different? 
Another thing that they all said is that luxury is a reward for hard work. So think about how your product and service will be a reward for that woman and all that she does and all the roles that she juggles. If you'd like to know more about our luxury research, you can go to luxuryisamindset.com. And if you'd like to know about the work that I do with luxury and legacy brands, you can go to neenjames.com. As a brand, think about how you're speaking the luxury language of the women that you want to attract. How do you need to make sure that your website, your sales staff, your social media presence, your advertising, everything that you're doing is aligning your messaging to attract the luxury mindset that you want in your business?